What's up guys, Jace Two Cents here bringing you another Emergency Battlefield 4 fix video and it may help some of you with your stutters and your frame drops. What I've discovered here is that, and actually I didn't discover it, I don't take credit for this, this was just through Google searches and stuff. I didn't know about it, so chances are some of you don't. Some of you may, if you do, then please help out a friend or somebody in this video. Now, what is happening here is Battlefield 4 is having cores parked by the operating system and what cores park poor core core parkour parkour windows does parkour what core parking is and i've done some research on this because i really didn't know is when windows will set aside tasks for the processor and will tell the processor hey set these cores aside and don't use them and you don't want that when you're playing the game you want all cores being used for the game so here is what you are going to do you're going to hit and by the way guys this only works for those using windows 7. Sorry, I, Windows 8 is different. I don't have a fix for that, but this is working for me on Windows 7. Now, open up your start menu, go to Reg Edit, hit Enter, and then you're gonna be in your registry here. Now, this may be a little bit scary to some of you. Please, trust me, this is not, but this is, this is basic. You're not gonna be messing anything up. You're not deleting any files. You're not changing any files. You're changing a value. Go to Edit, go to Find, or hit Control F, it brings up a search menu window you're going to copy and paste this key now this key is down in the description you can copy and paste it from the description and click find next and it's going to start searching the registry how long this takes to search is going to basically depend on how slow your hard drive is so it could take a few seconds it could take a few minutes depends on you know that now we've got one match right here and here it is by default it's highlighted blue you may find more than one depending on various factors now you're gonna see a bunch of different stuff here and you're gonna see value min and value max. By default, you may see value max is set at 64. So it looks something like this, where it's X 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 64 or 100. What this is saying is that, and if you hear a funky noise, my air conditioner just kicked on outside. So anyway, um, if you click this value max, double click on it and you see 64, that's a hexadecimal s symbol or value, which means 100% of your cores can be parked, where Battlefield becomes a minimal task to the operating system and it runs basically at minimum processing power. So what you want to do is you want to take 64 and turn it to zero, hit OK, and value max is now set to zero. Close your registry. Turn off your computer. Do not restart the computer. Shut it down. Let it power down and cold boot it again into Battlefield 4. And you may notice now that your frame rate is not going to be all over the place anymore. In fact, I want to show you something here. I did a little bit of a, uh, I did a little bit of a, a, a benchmark myself on that using the Fraps benchmarker. And check this out: the min/max average. 84.4 frames per second with a minimum of 71 and a maximum of 109 and I played the game for 15,063 frames per second or frames per second oh my god that would be amazing okay I played it for 15,063 frames so I played it for quite a few minutes average 84.4 min 71 max 109 guys that is a huge improvement and I will say this right now when I was playing the game, it was enjoyable. It was smooth. And before that out, the stutters were back. Before I did this fix, all the stutters were back and I was just thinking, God, this is unplayable. So guys, please give this little tweak a try. Tell me in the comments if this works for you. This may make the game a little more enjoyable. And as for the crashes, I don't know if it's gonna fix that. I haven't played it long enough. But in the meantime, you might enjoy some more stutter-free operation. If this worked for you, please let me know. And if this video helped you in any way, share it with someone else with PC Battlefield 4. It just may bring back a little bit of sanity in their lives. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. I honestly hope it helped.